Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to God of War. As you can see, we are back in Midgard from our, uh, well, I was gonna say little trip to Muspelheim. But uh, yeah, apparently Muspelheim is the realm of fire, where there's just a whole bunch of trials for us to gain blazes, something called blazes, which allows us to uh, craft amazing armor and the like. But those challenges are tough as nails. So today I'm planning on doing a bit of a calmer episode. Uh, and it's about five or six episodes ago that, I, uh, that we kind of decapitated a guy stuck in a tree. You can see the head there on the boat. Um, and we promised him we would bring That's his head statue. to the thing. witch. I do not know. And right now we're gonna actually do that. We're gonna return back to the witch and see what will happen if she can help us out in somehow reviving a decapitated head that has been rotting um, on our hip for the past... I, I must be... This must, this must have been days in their time. But uh, yeah doesn't seem like the most have, uh, most healthy thing to do with a decapitated head, but uh, yeah, you know, she's a witch, she must be able to do something about that, I suppose. And uh, yeah, I, I feel like there's some uh, romantic, erotic tension between Kratos and the witch, so who knows, maybe we're uh, going on a booty call instead of just uh, the, the grim prospect of just reviving a decapitated head. So last time we've been, we went through here. Wait, what? No, new location found. Huh? What is the this? Water dropped. When the serpent rose. Ah. I knew that. Yes. No. Yes, I knew that too. I'm certain that I knew that. So another fast travel point. Um, and then this. I'm actually wondering if I need to use fast travel points once to be really able to powerful. use that from anywhere else. You really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft. And we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No. But you may feed it to the fish. Okay. What the fuck, Atreus? You're a bit crazy in the head, aren't you? Jesus, that was dark. It's, it's a decapitated head, for Christ's sake. Here, blow this up. There we go. What's this? Okay. Find me. So, uh, things I've learned in the previous episode. Atreus is really handy in a pinch. And he actually gives really good advice during combat. And at, at, at a certain point when you really, when so, everything is really clicking, you can really use Atreus to just, well, call out attacks for you, so you don't need that awareness, really. Oh, thank you, Atreus. See, that, that's what I'm talking about. He's really, really handy. I'm just going to take out the Revenant first, because she's really, really annoying me. Oh, Christ. Okay, that was... Ooh, look at that! Come on, bitch. And smack. So, question is... How do I kill these guys? Well, just punch him, apparently. Because punching, punching works through a shield, while an axe doesn't. That's not logical. Although, it doesn't work either. Apparently you can carry a shield, which is also very interesting. But I'll stop complaining. Yeah, I really learned a lot uh, combat-wise from uh, the chat, from doing the the challenges that I could do. Because yeah, it's it's a re what the hell is that? It's a really nice practice on that account. Getting why would we? Oh, well that's one. Um, wait, is this something I can? Cause that's oh no, you can get use that to go all the way back up. But what is this? I don't trust the glowing thing. Apparently, the glowing thing does nothing. I thought it was gonna zap us when I tried to open up the chest, but never you mind. Symbol of courage. We need to. Uh... Nope. 
So we've seen those things before, but this is the first one we've seen activated. Um, yeah, since this is an optional route, maybe let's check this out. Uh, oh, oh. Turn back, AC. Guess the guys aren't welcome here. What is this? We're definitely heading to the witch eventually. Oh wait. <gasps> there he is. I hope he remembers us. How the hell? Okay. Apparently, this is another way into the into the veil. That is interesting. What's this? Ooh. I'm gonna take this with me. Probably gonna be able to use that in a second. Ah, yeah, of course. Probably right next to the giant tablet. Trophy nut. There we go. Plugging that in. Shooting it with a magic arrow and Boy. read that up. Hail Frigg, generous Frigg, who gave the world her brightest light. Young Baldur, gleaming gold, pride of the Aesir, Odin's son and heir to Asgard. Long may she protect him, long may he protect us. Hail Baldur the Golden, hail Frigg, beloved of all. Hail Odin Allfather. Seems like nobody who counted on the Aesir is still around. Okay. Frigg. Sounds like Odin's wife. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? Charlie? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head anyway. Charlie. Ch Charlie. Are you serious? You called the giant turtle Charlie. Okay then. Um, wait, what? Okay, so the visual indication of him using the shield doesn't really work all the time. And there we go. Yeah, why exactly? I know that I mind, but. This is the witch's veil, right? Oh my god, I'm getting used to this. It's like everything is going automatically right now. And then turn around, smack him in the face, smack him in the face. Boom! Uh, them in half. There we go. Without even breaking a sweat. Oh, and he sets. Yeah, that's cool. So he he was holding the house up so nobody could reach it, but protecting her. What does it say? Yes, sir. Does it say yes, sir, or or what? Does Death it say? To the ah. Okay. Lord of the Hang. Well, that's a a very positive message. Is that all it said? Yep, yep. Lord of the Hanged. Did I miss all this stuff before or did I just never go out the front side again? That might have been the case. There's another message over there. Um, uh, what is this all okay, about? A heavy drug. There we go. Smack. And permafrost kicked in. Okay. There we go. One, two, three, and in the face. And executioners leave. I chopped that man in half. Or creature or whatever. Okay. Wait, what the hell? This chest is locked with runic magic. Find and solve the three seals to unlock it. Yes, I, I know about that, but... I did remove one seal back there, but... This place is bigger than I remember. But if I recall correctly, we were walking around in here with a wounded boar in our hands, so... Might have been normal that we uh, don't really... Oh! 
Oh. There we go. What? So there's more of this green orb thingies. I don't think I have all the information here. Um. Aha. Uh -huh. What the? Here, boy. Ixmer. Ixmer? I know those roads. That's Vinder. Wind. Must be for that sand bowl down there. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Let's go back down. And while we're here, let's read the other message. Can you read it? Probably Sir. something about Odin being bad, probably. Say there need things upon all who trust us. Need, need, well, what was that second word? That's not, that was in English. Say there need things upon all who trespass. But we're invited here, right? Okay. What else do we have here? So we have the, the wind that we need to enter in the bowl. Atreus? Atreus? What does it say? Falcon, hawk, and turtle dove. Swim aloft in oceans above. Ah. Wind. Wind, indeed. Vinder. Okay. So that activated the green orb that was on top of it. Question is, what is inside of the chest? Ooh, another runic summon. Summons a spectral elk that it discharges destructive energy as it walks. Holy crap, it is cool, but I, I'm still a fan of the wolves. And I can actually upgrade the wolves. And the wolves are really good for crowd control. Do I spend 13,000 experience on that? Yeah, I mean, it saved my ass in the, uh, the trials, so uh, definitely wolves. Then, what else do we have? So you couldn't have solved it from over here because you only have three of the, the letters. Um, but we still need to enter the house, of course. Yeah, we're just gonna go inside. I'm just gonna see what the witch has to say. And if she can help us with the head, let's uh, move the plot forward, finally. Here we go. Father, she is here. She is. It's so good to see ah, you. Ah, wow! I totally missed I her there. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, That's not, not a good sure first question on the on the date, Wait. boy. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me now. Wait, what? They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. Because those. Sindri made These arrows, arrows are right? dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them. Understand? Wait, what? Do you understand? Say it. Uh, woman. I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. What the hell Please was that? Please take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. Are, are those electric as well? <sighs> Now, what's this about a head? Uh, you must have seen it on his hip by now. Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? <laughs> Please? Ah, uh, this is an interesting situation. Take him to the table. Hey, Mille. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Wait, why well, why do you Thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. <laughs> yeah, we did take our sweet time getting here. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. What the hell? I mean, at first she was questioning us for bringing the head here and stating that she would be able to revive her, and then she That's just enough. does it anyway. <coughs> yeah, maggots. It worked. Let me see him. There we go. Mamir, you there? Yes. Good. Oh. Okay. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. 
You look well. For Aya. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. <laughs> but I know the witch in the woods was Freya herself. I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Yeah. Are you really going to lecture me about that? Point taken. We are leaving, boy. But now. So the Vanir are the good gods. Just to recap and to late. You're welcome. Bye, Freya. Um. Why did you do so that? we cannot trust her. Because she's a god. Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. Oh, when great. I require your counsel, head. I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. Okay, so now we have an, an Irish head talking to us. Linked to our ass. Great. Um... Just gonna take a look around because there's another chest in here and we did take out the sea already. Uh, ah, and there we have the end. Yeah. Only one left. Just checking, yeah, we still have the arrows, the lightning arrows. Don't know why she minded actually. Because, I mean, we got the arrows from Sindri, but Sindri, Sindri can be a bad guy, can he? Or do the dwarves work for somebody in spe somebody specific? That might be the case, but it was a weird reaction to something as simple as the as arrows. What is is that more of that? Aha! Okay. Okay. That means we can throw that to that chest over there. And fire at it. Oop. There goes that chest, but now how do I... Hmm. I opened that up, but I don't know how to get to that chest. It's a bit more annoying. But we can grab another one and then open up the ball over there. There we go. Just exploring Freya's basement. Not the way I expected that was, this would happen, but... Ooh! Alright! Five out of seven. I'm, I'm gonna suppose that just houses another shitload of challenges and I'm gonna be cursing on those as well. Add another scroll. And a few more chests. Ooh, treasure map. I wanna see that. Where the leaves are red and the moss is green, I buried my treasure where the tortoise, tortoise, the, the tortoise doth dream. So it's underneath the giant turtle. That's probably the easiest one we've seen so far. Um, but it does give us a nice reward. The question is, how do I get back? Oh, I know how to get back up there. Okay, might as well do that in a minute. And then we open up this side area. Is this something? Oh. Yeah. Oh wow, oh great. So now Mimir is gonna start talking as well. Goodbye. And then... No, 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 no firing for me. So now Mimir is watching my ass, literally. Oh, she is actually stunned. Goodbye. No, of course not. We're pretty used to ravenous right now. 
Um, uh, and especially with all the abilities we now have, but it is very funny that now Mimir starts shouting if there's somebody hey, behind me. I think I see another one of those bowls of sand up there. That I drew the runes into? Uh, how we reach it, though. Yeah. There's something up there. Yeah, there is a message on the side of the pillar, but can't seem to point Atreus towards it. Father, up there. Yes, I am, but... Oh. No, I am not. <laughs> I am sorry. That was especially uh, blinding of Here. me. Boy. Yes, sir. Okay. Did, did you read it or... No? Oh, wait. We can... Okay. I'm following. Let's just put Atreus up there. And then he can go on top of the, the thing we put over there, the, the stones over here. There we go. And then I can pull this along. Well, that's Almost kind there. of the kind of teamwork we haven't really seen before. That's really cool. There we go. And now he gets to this, the bowl of sand. It's another one of those sand bowls. Okay. Bow. Bow. Okay, I was almost there. No, nope, not totally, not uh, not really there. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Open up the chest at least. There we go. Murder of crows. Another runic summon. Summons a murder of crows that swarms enemies. Um, okay, it looks more like pixies than crows, but it summons 9 total crows or 12 total crows and great increases duration. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really happy with my wolves, guys. I, I really like the options we're getting here, but I'm just really happy with everything. Um, I'm guessing I'm going to have to make my way back, so give me a second. So I opened up the path to the chest over here by looking at it from a different angle so there we go more loot Ooh, solid Svartalfheim steel now the only question that remains is where is the R the R on the chest over there is there another crystal below here then to cross this bridge ah okay kind of missed it right next to the uh, the big gate over here so let's head back and open up the chest which is gonna give us an upgrade uh if it's an apple it's gonna upgrade our health which is really nice three two one apple oh it's a horn blood meat well it's nice either way but uh continuing on so that actually doesn't really explain why the draugr were attacking me outside of a good goddess's house that is really really weird uh, i'm returning here to see to just resolve the uh the treasure map as well so I was pretty much on this side here there it is there it is treasure so a nice bunch of uh, hack silver again and an oblivion stone another oblivion stone and the Stone of Frost Mastery increases all frost damage inflicted by 15%. That is really good. That is really good. Let's equip that. There we go. Runic and increases all frost damage. Stacks up to 50% max. How does that work? If you have 3, you have 45. But that's... Yeah, okay. Never mind. Mathematics. Uh, I'm just going to head down again. So, back in the mines. And then for some reason we need to use another elevator. I don't know... Did we ever use this elevator? Oh, okay, I thought we were going up. But clearly we're going down. Probably back to the... Oh yeah, this is the elevator we used to get back up. And we're going back to the boat, so... Uh, yeah, unless anything interesting happens, I'll see you guys in a second. So, Mimir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? 
What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved uh, a spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. That is convenient. So yeah, we're fast yeah, traveling okay. and um, <gasps> Mimir just started the conversation. So let's head through the gate. And that should end us up back speak to the at uh, Brock's There's a horn on a shop. platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Aha, that's where that the horn. horn. Yeah, that's where the horn comes in. So let's head to that bridge. Well, that we're on the bridge, but to the, the horn up there. That sounds like an easy task for once. Just pull the lever here in the middle and just blow on the horn. It should be um, just as easy, I suppose. Speak to the world, Serpent. I think this is going to be awesome again. Come Good. on. Now put my lips to the horn. Wait, your lips? Okay. Hello, Jordan Gander. He kind of has this weird spot on his back. Holy crap. Wanna have a little chat, buddy? Okay. Why are you doing that? Odin had that statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. Wait, he said or will have a beef with you. There is something fishy going on here. Right, wish me luck. He remembers me. Okay. Why are you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Uh, Mokuno Huntunkun. Aho. Eh. Echo no Tunno Funno. Okay. The pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. Is he? Oh, what he is, is he moving the bridge. Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Yeah, well, there we go. Now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is, and it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Okay. So he moved the bridge for us, Wait, but what look. is that? The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. Ah, crap. I can see new places to explore along the shore. <laughs> Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. I, I just finished exploring the lake. Are you serious? This is literally the first episode in five or six episodes that we're not doing side quests and... Well, yeah, I'm, it sounds like I'm complaining, but I really like the side questing. But yeah, it, I, I thought we were going to push the story forward a bit now. And now I feel kind of compelled to continue the side quests. Which I guess it's, is exactly what I'm going to do then. So now we're on a different path. 
Interesting. Um, so the point is, we now need to head to a boat. So that's, I'm guessing we can still go down here and there's magically going to be boats. But we need to start exploring further. There's probably so one area... Oh, okay. We can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Well, since I've been banging my head on the uh, the challenges in Muspelheim, I'm going to continue exploring the, the place a bit. Because look at that. There's a lot of new things now. So uh, I'm going to be busy for a while. So now this extra staircase is here. Because that wasn't here either before. Huh. Maybe I should check that out as well then. Oh, there we go. No earthly key nor physical force can get past the magic of that lock. Don't even look at it. We didn't get the prompt that there's a new one available now. It's locked magically. So, again, nothing we can do about that. Um, then we're... Tyr's temple is huge, by the way. It is enormous. I'm just gonna take a look around, and then I'll get to the boat. Never seen a lock like that before. Yes. Reminds me of something I've seen Tyr sketch. He liked to combine various symbols into runes all his own. This one, I believe, means... Peace, unity, mercy, other things too. I see what he did, but how do we get inside? We have other concerns. Okay. So I did a full loop and there's uh, plenty hidden around here. I'm also wondering the fact... Oh, what the hell is that big thing over there? Is that Thor's hammer? Was that there before? Now I'm just blind. Could be. But uh, the previous areas we've checked out, are those no longer accessible since the water dropped even further? I also kind of called that, that the water was going to drop further, another one of those gates. Not that that was so interesting, but... Uh, yeah, kind of called it. Uh, okay, let's head into a boat. You know what, I'm going to take a little break. So when we get back, we're going to continue exploring the lake now that the water has dropped. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and hope to see you guys next time to the on God of War. Keep going towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Goodbye!